this is from the practice exam, and I wanted to show you how to work this problem because um, the, the, solution, the solution is actually incorrect. So as you can see, it, this is a problem about diffusion. Uh, you're given uh, the activation energy, you're given the temperature, um, you're given um, the diffusion coefficient d, and uh, this value d naught, uh, you're given that as well. Um, so one of the issues uh, that it, it, there's this typo here. This says per kilojoule, or excuse me, this says joule per kilomole. This kilo part is probably incorrect, and this would have been uh, announced in the room when I gave the exam, but I can see that it, it's, it's incorrect, so you would be confused. So let me just go through how you would solve this, um, and let's go ahead and pretend like it is correct. So what we have here is that the, um, excuse me, the Q, the activation energy is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative eighth joules per mole, excuse me, kilomole. Um, and they're asking for the D value, they give you the D naught is, is seven times 10 to the minus sixth meter squared per second. I'm sorry, I'm using my finger on the stylus. Uh, the temperature is 500 degrees C, but you know that in most uh, chemistry equations, the temperature that you really need to use is Kelvin, so you would have to add 723 to this in order to get 773 Kelvin. So um, we also need our basic equations, and you can get those from the fundamentals of engineering. And, um, you can see on this page that um, the, here is the, the actual uh, values that we would, or the equation that we would need to need, use. And so just basically plug the values into this equation. So let's go ahead and do the math on this one. So we're trying to compute D. We know it's equal to 7 times 10 to the minus 6 meters squared per second multiplied by E to the minus, or exponential E to the minus, um, 1.6 times 10 to the eighth joules per kilomole. I can see I'm running out of room here. Um, let's see if I can bring that, let me make that smaller. Actually, I'll move this guy up here, put this over here. That's the, the Q value, and that has to be divided by uh, R, which is given here as 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin times 773 Kelvin. And you can see here that the Kelvin cancels, joules cancel, but we have kilomoles up here and then moles down here, so I'm going to have to say that there are a thousand moles per, oh, nope, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to say that, that one kilomole is 1,000 moles. So here we've got this to cancel and the moles here to cancel so that the exponential is raised to a value that is no units, and that would be correct. Okay, I'm going to simplify this expression here, uh, and I'm going to do it by hand just so that, um, oh, I don't know, just for fun, times e to the, let's see, I only have n no units now, I've gotten rid of them, I've got w negative 1.6 times 10 to the 8th, and on the bottom, whoops, 8.314 times 773 times 10 to the 3. And that accounts for this value right up here. Okay, so what I get is e to the, oops, e to the, I used a calculator, I confess, 24.9. 
and this is 7 times 10 to the minus 6, the same units, meter squared per second, equals d. What you get if you do this is uh, this term right here is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 11. And notice that that is actually the same value as this value here. Now, if you multiply this term by this term, you actually end up getting this term right here, 1.1 times 10 to the minus 16.